Hey guys, I am back for a highlight and contour tutorial. Um, I did do some eyeshadow, but I'm not going to show you that because it's really not important and it's probably not why you're here. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is use a clear brow gel to brush up my unruly eyebrows. Next thing, I'm going to use um, stroke cream on my cheeks, forehead, nose, cupid's bow, and chin. This is what gives my skin a glow. If you follow me on Instagram or you know me or you see my YouTube videos, you know that you're not going to see me with a matte look ever. Like I like my skin to glow at all times, even if I'm not wearing makeup. So stroke cream, that's the ticket. All right, next thing, I'm going to use NW35 Studio Finish Concealer um, to highlight down the bridge of my nose. Whoops, sorry. I skipped a step. I'm going to use it um, around my eyebrows to shape them. Now, this step is definitely not necessary, but as you can see, my eyebrows really don't have um, a defined shape to them at all. I have yet to find um, a person to shape my eyebrows the way I want, so I have to cheat and do this. I do realize some people feel a certain way about this look, but it works. And the, also the way I blend it, it doesn't look like your typical concealer brow. At least I hope it doesn't anyway. And if I sound this if this sounds rehearsed, it's because it is. This is my third time during this recording I had to delete some things and then that kind of jacked up the recording so this is my third time doing this so if it sounds rehearsed it's because it is okay so I'm using the MAC 163 brush to blend the concealer around my brow it's really important to blend it especially if you're using such a like such a light color like the NW35 you want to blend it you know as well as possible uh, now I'm going in with, uh, I believe this is deep dark or deep brunette fluid line. You could also use dip down. They're exactly the same. I'm using that to fill my eyebrows in. And right now it does look a little crazy. Crazy it does look a little harsh. Um, I am going to put a powder over my brow, um, a mineralized, a dark mineralized skin finish, just to kind of make it look more natural. And of course. Um, gonna blend the heck out of it and again blending with the 163 brush and I'm also gonna use my Mac 159 brush to blend down the middle you don't want your brows to be too close and you don't want them too far apart and brushing the brow up with my brow brush Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the same concealer down the bridge of my nose. That brush, um, I actually don't even remember where I got it. It's just some cheap brush, but it's very small. You want something small to create that highlight down your nose. Alright, so now I'm going in with my Pro Long Wear Concealer, NW30, and I'm going to use that to highlight under my eye. Um, as you're going to see here in a second, I also kind of bring the highlight down my cheek a little bit, but it's okay because I'm going to blend it. I absolutely love this concealer. It goes on like butter. Um, you could also use this concealer as a foundation. You could thin it out with a, a moisturizer or a primer or a serum or a Fix Plus Beauty Blender sponge in it. You can wear it as a foundation too.
I've spent hours trying to make this 12 minute video so I hope you guys appreciate it okay so now I'm I put a little bit of the concealer um, Cupid's bow and also on my forehead now I'm gonna go in with my a black opal foundation stick in walnut which is the darkest color and I'm going to use that to contour my cheeks, nose, and forehead. Um, that brush, I uh, think I got that brush from Coastal Sense. I don't really remember, but you can use any any flat brush works. I do like this brush because it does have kind of like a pointed tip, so that's good for getting in um, small areas like that area there. And I'm taking the contour across my nose what this does is give your nose a um, more button like appearance button nose which is you know supposed to be cute I don't always do this but you know I did it today okay so now I'm going in with MAC Studio Tech Foundation NC50 and I'm going to use that around my forehead underneath the contour and on my chin I'm also going to put the foundation on my lips just to even out the color. Looking crazy right now, but it all makes sense in the end. So now I'm taking the NC50 Studio Tech over my contour and I'm blending up. That kind of takes away some of the concealer and now the concealer is just underneath my eye. So now if you look at my forehead, my chin is basically the same color as my neck. Well, not the exact same color because clearly I don't have foundation on my neck and I'm not going to put foundation on my neck, but it's as close as it could possibly be. So now I'm going in with the 159 brush, a little bit of the foundation on my eyelids, and I'm just blending. And now I'm adding a little bit more of the Prolong Wear Concealer on my forehead. And now again blending can't stress enough how important blending is especially you using all these different colors blend 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 Now I'm just going in, um, just defining my nose a little bit more with the black opal foundation stick in Walnut. And just blending brows a little bit more. I tend to go over things ugh, at least three or four times, as you can clearly see. 
which is why it takes me so long to get ready in the morning. Okay, so now, um, Studio Finish Concealer NC50, and I'm using that to just cover some blemishes that the Studio Tech did not cover. Just like, you know, dark spots, hyperpigmentation, etc. And blending a little more. Um, now I'm going in with Copper Tone Blush. I like this blush because it looks really natural um, on my skin tone. I do wish it was a couple shades deeper. Um, I usually use Raisin, but just wanted something a little different, something that looked a little bit more natural. So that's why I'm using Copper Tone. It's one of those uh, barely there blushes on my skin tone, which is why I like it. Okay, so now I'm going in with NW58 Studio Fix Powder, and I'm going to use that just to contour my cheeks a little more. Like I said, I tend to go over things multiple times with multiple products. That's just me. Okay, what next? Um, next, I'm going to go in with my Global Glow Mineralized Skin Finish, which is one of my absolute favorite MAC skin finishes that's ever existed. It's amazing. I mean, look at it. So pretty. Using that on the high points okay, so, of my cheekbones. Um, now I'm going in with Fix Plus, just... Spraying it on my face so I that would douse my whole body and it helps stuff makeup it settle better into my skin. It helps the 20 pounds of makeup that I just put on look more like skin. And I'm going to apply some banana powder underneath my eye. Just a little bit, not too much. Sometimes I do use it underneath my contour just to help it stand out a little bit more. But today I'm just going to use a little bit under my eye. I'm just holding my hand under my chin just to make sure doesn't get everywhere it can be a little messy and we are coming to the end of the tutorial pretty much you're gonna see me just put on a lip which is plum lip liner flush pot lipstick and then I did add um, nectar sweet cream sheen glass after um, did do some eyeshadow after as well but none of that's important you get the gist the basics of what I do and this is pretty much what I do on a daily basis for work and for you know whatever now if I'm going to the grocery store to the gym no makeup but this is you know my work face my um, going out face so I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching follow me on Instagram Tiffany Marie Scott and I will be back for more videos And I have my fingers crossed that this video uploads because if it doesn't, um, I'm going to scream. Alright guys, till next time.